Adjust your search and compromise is the advice for those feeling priced out of the property market, according to Andrew Winter. The real estate expert returns to Selling Houses Australia for its 15th season and promises the series will be like no other. From a house that's been on the market for 10 years. This is not one of our normal stories. This is quite shockingly sad. To a classic Queenslander chock full of clutter. What it lacks in style, it makes up for in size. Selling Houses Australia returns to Foxtel for its 15th season. The series aims to transform unsellable houses into spectacular homes. This looks great. Real estate expert Andrew Winter returns to host the show. We're conditioned to presume that buying property equals prosperity. He says the current climate of rising interest rates combined with falling property prices has created a very challenging environment. Andrew, congratulations. 15 seasons. That's no small feat. No, How does it no feel to be celebrating that? It's amazing. The fact we're still going after all this time. I mean, obviously, we've got, I've got Wendy and Dennis with me now, so they've got rid of the first two and was I the next one? But I'm still here. Still here. That's good to hear. Congratulations on still being here. Why do you think this show has resonated so well with the Australian public? Um, obviously, I'd like to think it's just because of me, but I know the real reason is because it's real people, real stories. Selling Houses Right from day one has always been about taking somebody that is in trouble and hopefully helping them and getting a good outcome. The previous season was during Australia's biggest boom ever. This season we've come back during what we thought was going to be a bit of a flatlining, a bit of a downturn that's kind of not materialised, but still selling has still been tricky. This is the season where not everybody gets the result they want. The question on everyone's mind at the moment, what is happening with the real estate market? I reckon the next 12 months could be a bit tricky. We've got more interest rates, even if it doesn't happen right now, probably going to happen during this year. How far people are going to be able to take that, I don't know. The difference with this um, massive rate increase that we're seeing compared to other times I've seen it in my career is that... This one came with a lot of warnings. We all knew interest rates were insanely low. So I think a lot of people, when they got their home loans, were expecting them to go up. I think the difference with this time compared to other potential slumps is the fact that people had a warning. Interest rates were so low, I think they sort of thought, well, I'll put a bit of money aside or you know, let's hope it, you know, we'll, instead of borrowing 800, we'll borrow 700. Um, we've got a spare room we could let out. You could always get a third job. There's a lot of um, extra payments going on. It's different. So whilst there will be real trouble for some people, I don't think it's maybe in such a quantity that it's been before. Everyone's talking about the mortgage cliff and those coming out of that. And that obviously is going to um, happen. But again, people have had a warning about this. So I don't know. We, it should have happened already by now. But also the reason the house prices are being sustained is lack of stock. For those feeling priced out of the property market at the moment, is there any advice you have for them? Yeah, I think what it is is you're probably priced out of a certain sector of the market, so you might have to adjust your search um, because there's always something out there. It just might not be in the area or the type that you want. So look at a compromise. Look at something that's in bad condition when you wanted something that's in good. Look at something that's in suburb B instead of your suburb A, uh, maybe something smaller that you could expand. Remember that um, condition and size is a variable. So you, as a homeowner, unless it's a unit block, of course, c can change that. Um, whereas its location, you can't. So it, it's, it's very much... And, and also, if, if, if the prime area has a border, don't be scared just to go over the border into the next suburb, because it can sometimes... Eventually, that will impact that area too. Yeah, so it's compromised. That's, that's all you can do. You can watch Selling Houses Australia now on Foxtel.